Hi, I'm Laura Ray, and today we're going to talk about faking fuller lips. No injectables, no plastic surgery, nothing. Everything we're going to do is at home, inexpensive, easy to do, and going to give you that look of fuller lips. So I'd like to welcome everyone to the live stream and those of you joining in the replay. I hope you will enjoy this too. And please leave a comment. I would love to hear your favorite lip liners, your favorite lipstick, and name shades for us. I love trying new shades and I really like all of your recommendations. So let's first start about talking about the lips themselves. There's some things we can do to make our lips better, but there are some things we do that make them much worse. So I think we need to talk about that too. First of all, licking your lips really dries them out and will make them look much smaller. So you wanna stay away from licking your lips. That's one thing. And hydrate. There's some simple things we can do. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water during the day. That's really important. And also just um, our collagen is going to diminish as we get older. So that's where really taking care of your lips becomes very important. Now, there's a lot of controversy about exfoliating the lips. I do like to do it in a very gentle way. I have one of the silicone scrubbers I've shown many times where you just sort of go across the lips. I don't like using a toothbrush. I'm afraid you'll get little micro tears from that. So I stay away from the toothbrush and use that or a very gentle lip scrub. I've shown the one from Sarah Hat before that I like so much, but you can simply go to your cupboard and take some sugar, some honey, mix it together, and just don't scrub rough. You wanna be very gentle, just little circles on the lips to exfoliate, and that's about it, and just wipe it off with a washcloth. But that's one thing that I like to do a couple of times a week, and it just keeps my lips really smooth. I'd like to welcome everyone to the live stream, and we're talking about faking fuller lips. So let's start off with, you see right now, I have no lipstick on. I feel so bare without lipstick. I would love for you to tell me, do you always wear something on your lips? So I always do. I feel so bare without anything on my lips. I like to wear lip balms. I love wearing my uh, Beauty Hacks lip mask, and this is a new one from them uh, that's vanilla. I've talked a little bit about this. I actually put this on while I was getting ready today and then wiped it off, but I wear this to bed, and we'll be talking about that, like our night routine, because there's things you can do at night to make your lips so much better in the morning. First off, we're going to, I'm gonna do this right on camera, a gua sha massage for my lips. So I used to go to an esthetician who would do facials and she would do a massage on my lips and I asked her, what can I do to make my lips fuller? And I never thought I would ask that question because I always got made fun of as a kid for having large lips, but now with people doing these injectables and things, they don't seem that large anymore, and I'm sure I've lost some of the volume in my lips. And that's post, uh, partially, I think, due to changes in the bone structure. I um, also feel as our teeth shift from different dental work and things we have done, that can really affect the, the lips. I know that uh, I had braces and my lips looked so much smaller once I had my teeth pulled back. They looked a lot larger before I had the braces. So I think the teeth, which you never really hear many people talk about, play a real part of whether our lips look full or not. But you can make them full with massage and I'm going to show you a little massage tonight with my gua sha tool. Now you can simply use your fingers 
to do a massage on your lips. And I want to recommend a video to you. On YouTube, many of you have probably seen him, the motivational doc. He's a chiropractor, and he did a video not long ago on fuller lips. And he did some different massages with just his fingers. So he took the lips and sort of smushed them like this across the lips and this is to bring again circulation back to the lips that's going to give your lips a much plumper look so i am going to after we're done with the live stream his video will be linked i really suggest you watching that because he had so many great tips about making your lips fuller through massage and he also recommended, you know, basics like staying hydrated too. So I'd like to welcome everyone. And Lydia, I see, I always um, do wear lipstick. She says balm Vaseline. Vaseline is great to wear at night. I know Dr. Dre has recommended that. Sarah V also has a hydrating uh, balm and... Um, so there's lots of different things that you can put on at night. I love my Beauty Hacks lip mask in the evening. I always wear that. And uh, Jacqueline says she always has color on her lips. I do too, Jacqueline. I've never liked the color of my lips. They're sort of a purpley mauvey color. And I wish I had more cherry or brighter lip. I think it really lifts the you know face and makes it brighter so i like to wear lipsticks that sort of brighten me up and um yes linda says about loving the Bolani fetish lipstick and pleasure and it is a great nude i have that one and i love it so so many great recommendations keep those coming if you have a lipstick shade tonight the one i'm going to share with you is from maybelline and it's pink and proper this is a repurchase for me. It is such a beautiful pink. I like a brighter pink in the spring. I usually go with a little more muted pink in the fall, but in the summer I always go for a little more color. So this is one I've repurchased and love. Hello to Melody and Linda and Tamara. We're so happy. Ronnie, Jacqueline, we've got Lydia, Myra here, uh, Robin, and we're just Lydia, we're so happy you're all here tonight. Now, let me take you through my little gua sha lip routine. I've watched some different people that do gua sha, and then I've sort of taken things, my esthetician, and I've sort of taken all their ideas and made it my own. But I like to use jojoba oil. So I just take a drop of oil. So this is something I would do maybe in the morning if my lips didn't look plump, but mostly at night when I'm trying to relax and I have a little more time. And I just go right on the lips and over the vermilion line. This is the vermilion line, that line, and that tends to flatten as we age. It's more poofed out when we're younger. And a lot of people actually go have injectables put into that line to give more of a border to the lips but I'm just gonna go over the edge of the lips. And I like jojoba oil. You can find an oil that you really like. You might wanna use sweet almond oil. And then I like to take my gua sha tool. Now again, don't feel you have to have a tool. You can use your fingers. I've washed my hands before I came on camera tonight. And then I just start right on that line and make little circles like this little tiny circles. Now my esthetician had shown me this uh, with her fingers. She just does it. She says she takes her fingers and does little circles like this to get those lines. Again, you're trying to bring circulation back to the lips. So let me start. Now what's funny when I do this Sometimes I will feel crunching like you do in your shoulders or neck. So I think we carry a lot of tension in our lips and we don't think about that. But I like to do a few times back and forth. Then I'll even take this part of the tool and just go over the lip itself. I'm going to use my monitor here. Just like that. 
and back and forth just to get the circulation going. And see, I heard a crunching in here, so I'll just do little circles. And you'll notice as you do this, the lips plumping up and getting fuller. Of course, that's not going to last for hours and hours, but if you do this on a consistent basis, your lips are going to get fuller. I noticed a big difference when I started doing this regularly, not just once in a while, but on a daily basis. And that's about it. Now, I know the motivational doctor in his video, he took his fingers like this and pinched along the lip line like this. Again, I really suggest watching his video. He had so many great ideas on doing exercise for your lips without a tool. So um, that's how I start with that. Now, in the evening, when I'm done with doing something like that, I might just plot a little bit and then put on a lip mask. I've tried so many. Uh, I have tried the Laneige. I've tried several. If you have a lip mask you love, put it in the comments. One thing I do want to mention, because I did mention Sarah Happ, I love her clay mask because it just like smooths out the actual lines on my lip, on the pillow of my lip, not around the lip. But I always feel like my lips look a lot smoother. So um, I thought it was worth the investment and the money that I paid. But this is just vanilla. And then just go over. And my lips look pretty good right now. They look fairly full. Uh, I would do maybe a little bit longer if I wasn't here. And you get the idea of it. I just wanted to show you that that to me has about helped me the most with getting the lips fuller besides some of the makeup tricks I'm going to share in just a minute. So that would be my night routine, doing a little bit of gua sha and putting on a mask. And I'm getting so many great recommendations here for lipstick. Analyzing My Life says my holy grail is Maybelline 710 first class nude. And I don't know if I've ever tried that. I got to look at, if I see the shade in person, I'll know whether I tried it. And welcome, Debbie. Um, we're so glad you're here tonight. And Mary, all the way from Canada. And uh, Jacqueline says she has pink and proper. So that's awesome. Well, let's move on to what you can do with makeup, because there is a lot you can do with makeup. So I'm just going to blot this off. My lips are feeling great at this point. Now, one product my mother recommended to me is this from Elizabeth Arden. It's her Advanced Lip Fix. Have any of you tried this? This is very recent for me, but my mother's used it apparently for years. I thought we had no secrets, but she told me she's been using this a long time. And what this is known for is keeping lipstick from feathering into your lip lines. And what I mean by that is lines above or below the lip. So we all get these. I've never smoked a single cigarette and I have them. And I listened to Dr. Dre. I've listened to her video a few times about lips and she really disagrees with a lot of these people saying you get lip lines from straws. She said she feels most of the lip lines from smoker lines come from the actual chemical of the cigarette causing deterioration of the uh, that lip area. But I have some fine lines, and that's why I wanted to try this product because it said that it helped from feathering. Another thing I found is get yourself a clear lip liner. I didn't bring one with me tonight, but a couple of companies make them. I use them almost like spackle and just draw in any fine lip lines I have and also outline my lips. Now that's if you don't want a colored lip liner. I really believe in colored lip liner because it can change the whole shape of your lip. The clear is not going to change the shape at all. So I think that's really important. But I'm going to go ahead and put this on so you see what it's like. This you don't use hardly any. This is probably even too much. And it looks white, but then it goes clear. 
So I'm going to take my mirror that I'm in love with. This is seven times the magnification so I can actually see what I'm doing. And you see right now, I have a little bit of a white cast, but that will disappear. And you need to let this dry for a little bit. When I first got it, I started putting lipstick on right away, and it was like a slip and slide. <laughs> so you really need to give it a little bit of time to dry. Now, another thing I did not bring, but I wanted to mention for fuller lips is sunscreen for your lips. And one that I love is from Vanna Cream. I've used that. It's got a great amount of sunscreen and uh, you could wear that and let that dry also under your lipstick. But one thing Dr. Dre had said that I thought was good news for those of us that love lipstick, she said lipstick does give you some protection from skin cancers. So those of us that love wearing lip products, there's something good for us. So they do give you some protection, but the Vanna Cream is one of the few that I found that worked so great for me, didn't cause any sensitivity, and it has very few ingredients. So if you're looking for a sunscreen for your lips, you might wanna try the Vanna Cream. Now when this dries, I have another product I like, and I wanna explain why. I, as I told you, when since my lips are darkly pigmented more than some people i see who have paler pink or cherry lips and some of you may have darker pigmented lips like mine more purpley when i buy a lipstick like this it doesn't look that way on my lips and i get so discouraged because i'm like oh i love that color and i'll see it on someone else and it doesn't look the same on me and so I wanted a primer that would block out my lips. Now, most people would say, well, why don't you just use concealer or foundation on your lips? Well, what I found is most of the time that dries my lips out. And normally my lips are not dry. I don't have a big problem with that because of also where I live in Florida. It's so humid here and we just don't have the issues that I would have if I lived in a northern place where I had more cool weather. So I had one from Sigma that I loved and they discontinued it. Don't you hate it when that happens? So I was so mad when they discontinued that because there's so few products like that. I tried the lip primer from NYX. I've tried it multiple times. I've bought several and I just don't like it that much. It doesn't really truly block out the color. So the one that I found that I use now is from Gabriel and Gabriel is a cleaner brand, which I like that because I'm putting this on my lips. So this will take the color away from your lips and is also a primer so that the lipstick looks smooth. So I'm going to put a little of this on and you will see it looks like I'm putting on concealer. You can see right now. And this also has to dry. You need to give it like a minute or two. And I like to actually put it on that vermilion line and the Cupid's bow because then I can overdraw a little bit with the lip liner to make my lips look fuller. I'm not a big fan of the old overdrawing where people overdraw and don't blend well because then you look like it's like a coloring book with an outline. I'm going to show you how to outline the lips and blend it so that it looks like your lip. So right now we'll just let this dry for a minute. And while this is drying, let me take a look at the comments and see if you have, Melody says, my lips are so small, you can't even see my upper lip. Any help? Well, let me tell you one thing I forgot to mention with the gua sha, and I just did this myself naturally. I didn't see anybody else do that. But I took this into the tool and sort of massaged up to sort of lift the lip like this, just pushing up. And I felt like that lifted my lip up a little bit. So that might be something that you would want to try, Melody. And again, if you have the primer on your lip 
and you have the right shade of lip liner, I think you could overdraw a little bit and have it all blend and it would look really nice. Hello to Tamara, we're glad you're here. And we're all the way up to priming the lips now. So I've put the uh, Elizabeth Arden on, and again, this is for lip feathering. It's for smoothing the actual lip, the lines in your real puffy part of your lip. And I let that dry and then put on the Gabriel primer. And so now what I'm going to do is we're going to go in with lip liner. Now I tested so many lip liners before this video from the drugstore and most of the ones I love come off very easily if I do a wear test. If I drew, I had marks all over my hands of lip liners. So I let it set and then I rub and most of them rubbed right off but there's one that didn't and that's Revlon Color Stay. Now tonight I'm using the shade Raisin because I wanted you to see better what I'm doing but they have beautiful shades you could get a nude shade so that it would go with pretty much everything but um, I'm going to use Raisin tonight so that's what we'll be doing. Now Again, this is Color Stay, and when I tested this, I rubbed and rubbed. I actually, after it said, I had to get it off with soap and everything. So I think that's really important because you don't want to go to all this work to have your lips look nice, and then one cup of coffee later, all your lipstick is gone. Now, one thing I like to do with the lip liner is fill in on the actual lip on parts of it. I'll show you that. So again, it's all about blending. Blending is really important. That's what I found makes me love lip liners so much better. So I start with going up the sides of the lips. I don't draw down because what I found is when I draw down like this, I end up making the lip look like it's going down. So I have found the best way for my lips to draw is start on the sides and go up with a liner. So that's what I'm gonna do, start in this corner. Now I'm drawing just a tiny bit. I'm drawing on the top of the vermilion line, not on the line. Like I used to draw right on the line. And when I started drawing on the top of the line, I realized how much larger my lips looked. Just little tiny bits do a lot for your lips. Okay, so I've drawn up on this side. Now let's go to the other side. Now I have a very defined Cupid's bow and I know a lot of people say, oh, just draw across. It looks so fake on me. I cannot do that. So I am going to follow the shape. Of my Cupid's bow. Now what I do is I go ahead and line the bottom lip. And again, I start from the bottom and go up. Now I'm not worried about it being so perfect because I'm going to blend in just a minute. Okay, now I've got the basic shape on and I'm going to, right now, let's go in on the sides and fill in. And this will help it to uh, not look like I'm just outlining in a coloring book. So I'm drawing like a third of a lip there. Here. On the bottom and Now, if you find your lips are really drooping on the corners, 
then don't draw all the way to where your lip ends. Stop a little before that, and that will help give the lip a more lifted look instead of following the line all the way down if you find your lip is drooping at all. Now what I'm going to do is just take my finger and do a little bit of blending. One thing I want to mention is that having the primer on is really helping me blend a lot easier than if I went on with a dry pencil. And I'm bringing it up into the corners, but very lightly. And if you go over too much, all you need to do is just take a little concealer or your foundation and just add a little bit more in to smooth it out. Now, um, now let's take our lipstick and I'm going to dab that right in the center. I think the key to this too is patience. <laughs> when you're doing all this, of course I'm talking while I'm doing it, so it's taking so much longer. Sometimes I also use a makeup brush, but I didn't want one more thing for you to have to feel like you needed to purchase. So I wanted to just use my fingers tonight, but uh, a makeup brush is great for doing lips. I like a flat brush that's straight across. That's really good for getting all the angles. So I think we're pretty good. I'm just going to blend out a little bit. There. I think that turned out pretty good. I didn't know about doing that here live, but I love this color for spring. And really that raisin ended up working so beautifully with this shade um, and really makes it stand out. Now, when you are using liner, it's best not to um, use gloss because you could get a lot of running and stuff in. So. I would recommend if you're worried about lip lines, I would stay away from gloss and use something like this. You can see how shiny my lips are. They're very shiny right now. But despite me telling you that, I'm going to put on a lip plumper right now because there is a fast way to get your lips plumper. I really want to say too that uh, some people, these don't work for them. It's too much for them. I've tried so many lip plumpers and some of them were like pop rocks on my lips and I hated them. But this is one that I showed um, of several weeks ago that I really liked that I found on Amazon that was like highly rated and so many thousands of people had tried it so I wanted to give it a shot and they have a daytime and a night so I'm going to put the daytime on now and this definitely has heat to it but um, it does the trick Okay, I'm feeling the heat now. I'm feeling it coming on. Let me check my mirror. Yeah, whew, boy, these lips are burning. <laughs> oh, my lips are on fire right now. But it works because it is an irritant to the lips, so it does make them plump up. Lip plumpers aren't something I like to wear every day. 
But if I were going out a special occasion and I really wanted my lips to look so full, then this is a fun way to do something that you can do at home to plump the lips. But this is pretty much my lip routine, doing the gua sha, giving my lips a good massage. Again, staying hydrated is really important. Also, um, lip liners. I think lip liners are so underrated and they have such great lip liners at the drugstore. But as I was telling you, I've loved the ones from LA Girl, NYX, uh, Flower Beauty makes beautiful lip liners, but when I put them all to the test, the one that really lasted while I was trying to like basically scrub them off my hands was the Color Stay from Revlon. And so affordable. Thank you, Ronnie. I love this shade for spring. This one, and I just did a post on Instagram today with Pink Wink. And that shade for Maybelline is a repurchase. It is such a beautiful pink. I love that. It, tell me, do you all like pink for spring or what shades of lipstick do you like to wear? Or do you just wear the same things you always wear? I've, me personally, I like to change it up and enjoy the season. So I will do, like even if you look at my nails right now, I'm wearing that Essie polish that I've talked about, the Espressi. So I will do pink nails, coral, these kind of shades in the summer and spring. The minute fall comes, I'm all about plums and mauves. And then as we get into, you know, winter, even a little bit deeper shade. So I like to go with the seasons, but I wonder how you ladies feel. Do you change it up for seasons or do you just have a color you wear year round? I do have to say my, my daughter gave me an early Mother's Day present and she gave me a new Pillow Talk lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury because mine I had to throw out. It was just in too old anymore. But that is a shade I love year round. Pillow Talk is just that my lips but better shade. So I do love that. It's one of my high-end lipsticks that I like. Mostly I have drugstore. I only have a few high-end lipsticks that I actually own. So um, Rosa says she loves pink or coral. And um, Robin says Meryl Norman has a great clear liner. I put that on first and then go back with a regular liner. That's awesome, Robin. That's a great tip. You can use both. Don't feel like you, if you have to use one or the other. And um, Julie says my lips never look different with plumpers. I've tried high end to drugstore, but I have full lips and imagine that's why. That lippy color looks great. Thank you, Julie. Yeah, I noticed the most difference with this. I also noticed a difference with the Buxom Plumper. I've tried that one. Most of them, like you say, I don't see that much of a difference. And you can make your lips look plumper by taking a gloss that has shimmer to it and putting it in the center of the lip. So that gives the illusion of a full lip. I found that's worked best for me. Or even sort of a... A frosty shimmery lipstick in the middle of the lip. I've used gold before and um, so you can do that too if you're not a lip gloss fan. And um, Tamara says I have about six or seven tubes of lipstick or gloss. They're all various shades of the same color. I do that too. I've even seen a color and didn't realize I already had it at home. And then I get home and I find out I already own that lipstick. So Robin says she likes to change with the seasons and so does Julie. So a lot of you are like me and you sort of uh, change maybe your lipstick or blush. I definitely change my blush too. I coordinate my blush and lips. So tonight I put, um, you know, a pink, looking blush on because I knew the lipstick that I was going to wear. So I really do like to coordinate my blush and lipstick with each other. So um, Peg, I'm so glad that this was helpful. And um, it's so easy. The jojoba oil, this lasts me 
25 years. I mean, I use this for so many things. If my cuticles are dry, I put it in my hair. I use it for gua sha. So this is like keeping sugar and flour in your cupboard. I always keep jojoba oil. I like also almond oil. So there are a few that I just keep. And if I run out, I just repurchase it because it's just very versatile and good for everything. So do you ladies have any questions before we close out tonight? I would love to answer anything that you have. And, you know, Debbie, so many people, um, I know my mother, my lips I inherited from my father. My father has very full lips. My mother is always saying that her top lip, too, she gets a little frustrated because it's gotten on the thinner side. But again... Um, a beautiful color of lipstick can make all the difference. There are certain colors that she wears where I'm like, your lips are popping. <laughs> they look great. And I think a lot of it too, it stay, I would stay away from darker lipstick. If you get that a little brighter shade, that can really make your lips look fuller. Even on my lips that are fairly full, uh, darker lipsticks make them look smaller. So if you're also wanting your lips to look larger, then um, I would say go with either a mid-tone or a, a little bit above that for your lips. Uh, that will make them look um, a little bit fuller. So I'm so glad you ladies were here. I have such a fun video for you on Saturday. I hope you love it as much as I enjoyed making it. It's about makeup I love that I hope does not get discontinued. You know, we are in such a different world. I had a whole discussion with my daughter about this the other day. I said, when I was a teenager or when I was a kid seeing my mother buy makeup, it was always the same makeup. You just assumed it would be there at the drugstore and you went in and picked it up. But we're in this fast makeup world where companies discontinue products all the time. And it's very frustrating because it's almost become limited edition. You know, you have something you like or you find a mascara you love that really works for your lashes and you go back and it's gone. And so I took some of the products that I love that I'm just hoping never get discontinued. One that I'm glad never has been discontinued is Clinique Black Honey. I love that shade for some reason. I just love that shade so much and I hope it never gets discontinued. But that's what the video is about. So I would love for you to be there Saturday and we'll have some fun with that. And um, I just want to thank you for being here tonight. I love you all so much. And I appreciate you uh, coming to the live streams. It's always great to see you. I hope you have a wonderful week, a blessed week. And I'll see you on Saturday.